HUD activated. Commence briefing. Approaching Haran. Data on the subject. Kadir Suleiman. A local political figure hired to maintain order after the outbreak. His brother Hassan died in a disease-related incident before we were able to evacuate him. Suleiman blamed the GRE for Hassan's death. He stole a highly sensitive file which became his bargaining chip against the GRE, with instructions to publicize it if anything happened to him. Data on the subject. The stolen file. In 10 seconds. It details the incomplete process of synthesizing a cure for the virus. If implemented in its current state, the produced substance may be extremely toxic. Now. Also, the file contains full description of the virion's structure. Any attempt to use it would result in countless lives lost. It must be recovered. Further information, current status. Suleiman sent the file to an associate unknown to us with instructions to publicize it at his command at any time. To counter that, we instituted a citywide communication jam, preventing him from publicizing the file. Your GRE-issued radio can overcome that jamming. It is your lifeline. Do not lose it. Suleiman has since gone underground and begun using a different name. We have reason to believe he now leads one of the two main factions operating within the city. You are to find Suleiman and locate the stolen file in order to save mankind from a disaster of unprecedented proportions. I told you that wasn't a normal drop shoot. Break his legs, then take him to rides. Back up! All of you! Stop! Loud noises draw them! Fall back! Fall back! Him. You're scared. Not scared. Then pinch him. He blinked. What? He blinked again. What if he's a zombie? Ah! Zombie! Ah! Run! You sleep for three days like a dead man that scared children. Off to a great start, 31. Where am I? In paradise, can't you see? Okay, enough joking around. Head to room 190. The boss will brief you. 
What do you mean, 31? Ask the boss. Thirty-one. That's your number. Thirty-one, in fact. Too dangerous. Amir died because of this guy? Quiet! Oh, fuck quiet. Now he's gonna get Amir's anti -sin. And you are? Crane. Uh, Thirty-one. Oh, right. Um, how's your head? My head? Got it. Listen up. Until the boss says so, you are not on the list. So go talk to him ASAP and let's get things moving. Now, if you'll excuse me. How do you feel today? After the injection, I'm looking for the boss. Is he in there? Oh, you're 31. Go on in. I'm looking for the... Are you the boss? What, am I too young? You got the problem with my age? No, I... You wanted to talk to me? That's better. Do you remember anything? Know what you are? Yeah, I can, I can see this is some kind of shelter. We call it the tower. Brecken and his runners put it all together a couple of months ago, and we've been here ever since. Hunting airdrops, scavenging, and rescuing people. Yeah, I, I wanted to thank that girl. Good, because if not for her, you'd already be chewing somebody's knee bone. Your Anderson was totally crushed, by the way. Only thing Jade could salvage was your radio. Oh, great. So can I get that back, please? Actually, I think I need it more than you do. Believe me, pal, that's not the case. Fine. Take it. You know why runners put their lives in danger? For guys like you. So now you take the Anderson meant for someone else, and you won't even share your gear with us? I don't have time to deal with your bullshit. I've lost contact with one of our guys thanks to the fucked up radios we're stuck with. Do something for me, would you? I don't want to see you or your precious radio anymore, so go be useful somewhere else. We don't tolerate lazy assholes here in the tower. Hey, be fair. I'm not, I'm not lazy. I'm just, hey, boss. Save it. That last guy I mentioned, he's only on the 13th floor, but he might as well be trapped in a mine cave -in. Come back later. And I'm not the boss. Too young, remember? I'm Rahim. Brecken's in charge here. I'm not lazy, you little shit. Where do you think you're going? The 13th floor. I'm getting some stuff for Raheem. 13? Shit. That's gonna be some dirty work. But we all got to pull our weight around here, huh? Crane here. Where were you? We've been waiting for your report. It's been over 70 hours. I lost my radio for a while. Don't worry, my cover's intact. No contact with the tower's leader yet. Unable to confirm identity. I'm taking steps to blend in. Acknowledged. Time is of the essence, Crane. Remember that. There's, there's one more thing. I... I got bitten. I've shown no symptoms, but the people here say I'm infected. Then you'd better get your hands on some Anderson ASAP. Help! Had you. Help! Somebody! What the hell?
I cut my arm getting away from him. Oh, God. You had to kill him, didn't you? God damn it! That was... That was my brother. I came down to see him and... Easy, easy. It's all right now. I'll, I'll get help. Hey, Raheem, this is Crane. I'm down here on 13. Listen, this guy of yours got fucked up pretty bad getting away from a zombie. Oh, shit. 31? You went after Mark? Is it... Is it safe down there? Yeah, well, it's safe enough now. Okay, don't move. I'm sending Lena downstairs. Hey, hold still. Lena will be here any minute. Goss! You've got to find some goss! Oh, and alcohol! Combine them. That will stop the bleeding. Please hurry! I try to stay calm, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, I think that's everything I'm gonna find. Let's give this a shot. Okay, who's hurt? He's bleeding pretty bad. Let me see him. Goes and alcohol, huh? Pretty primitive, but it'll work. Thanks for the help. I'll take care of him from here. Well done, 31. I just want to help out and repay you guys for what you did for me. Well, good. Come find me, and we'll talk about how you can do that. Taken care of. Piece of cake. What else you got for me? Well, let me think. Rahim, you are just smart enough to be dangerous, you know that? Omar told me about your plans for the nest. Explosive charges? Really? What? Explosives? Oh, I never please. Said that. You can't tell a convincing lie to save your life. I know what I'm doing. Yeah? You think you can't die? You're not my mom. No, I'm not. Our mom's dead. So you might want to be a little nicer to me since I'm the only family you have left. Especially now that Amir is gone. You're Jade, right? Right. I just wanted to thank you for what you did for me and, and tell you how sorry I am for your loss. I owe you and Amir my life. Yeah, you do. You want to return the favor? Keep my dipshit brother from killing himself. 
No explosives, Rahim. So... So, is that enough? Do I get to talk to Brecken now? First, go change your clothes. I left some new ones for you in your room. You're in 194. Something wrong with what I'm wearing? You need something that fits the job Brecken wants you to do. Call me when you've changed. Okay, Raheem, I'm ready. Where do I find Brecken? Not so fast, 31. If you're going to earn your keep, we have to find out if you've got the skills. So get your ass up to the gym. It's on the top floor. Just a couple flights up. How are zombies like computers? Raheem, I don't see you. Where are you? Welcome to our gym. First things first, you've got to learn how to run. What do you mean, learn how to run? Just do what I say, all right? Now, jump down to the very bottom. Are you nuts? I'd kill myself. Don't be a wimp. Oh, come on, you can't be serious. Watch this. Raheem! My leg! Jesus, don't move! I'll get help! Ha! I was just fucking with you! Son of a bitch! What? You can't take a joke? Come on! Get your ass down here! Christ on a crutch. <laughs> Holy shit! Holy shit! <laughs> it's a rush, isn't it? But don't blow your load just yet. There's more. To survive outside, you got to take advantage of the terrain. Most eaters suck at climbing, so the harder the terrain is, the better for you. I've got some typical situations set up for you. Let's see how you handle them. Sometimes it's better to crawl through the low, narrow passages. Eaters will have a tough time following you. Try not to slow down once you start running. Outside, if you stop, you're probably dead. Not bad for a noob.
The closest I ever came to this was running track in high school. Well, then you're a fucking prodigy. Never seen anything like it. Raheem, what the fuck was that? Does this mean I'm... I'm turning? Most likely, no. At least not yet. Caesars reminds you that you're infected. You better go see Dr. Zera, though. He'll check you out, probably give you a shot of antizen. Before you head out to see Zera, talk to the Quartermaster. He'll, uh, gear you up so you can go outside without getting your head bitten off. Given me an actual job, and nobody suspects I'm not who I say I am. So far, so good. And once Dr. Zara helps me manage these symptoms I'm dealing with, I'll be even better. Oh, you're the new scout. Rahim radioed me about you. Yeah, that's me. Name's Crane. I'm not gonna bother learning your name till you survive a few days, but here, this is for you. By the way, word around the tower is you're just another deadbeat in line for food or antizen. By which I mean, the people here don't much like you. But don't blame them. It's easy to get paranoid when you're isolated. And since somebody's jamming communications to the outside, there's plenty of paranoia to go around. Whole damn city with nobody to call for help but ourselves. You bring me some supplies from the airdrops, though, and you'll see people change their tunes in a hurry. That shit's a game changer. Uh, thanks. I'll bear that in mind. Listen, is there anything else? I'm in a bit of a rush. Also, if you're looking to get more popular, you can try helping folks. Do a few favors, they might like you more. Might even find a woman. Keep you warm at night. <laughs> Going outside, yeah. Okay, new guy. Be careful out there. We've lost too many already. Okay, noob. You 
guard Dr. Zera set up in a semi-trailer on a Fenton playing court. When you leave the tower, hang a left and head due south. You can't miss it. It's Crane, kid. All right, all right. Crane. Just keep moving. There's no time to take in the sights. And try not to make too much noise. Sound attracts those fuckers. <laughs> I hope those rotting fuckers never figure out how to climb on top of a van. Doctor? Hello? Anybody there? Camden, are you there? Damn it. Uh, so I'm supposed to get a vaccine? What? No, no. Suppressant. It's called Antizen. Suppresses the symptoms. Here, sit. Antizen postpones the inevitable. Best the GRE could do. Inevitable, so th there's no cure? It's a variation of rabies. There's no cure right now, but you see, I've been running tests on both antizen and infected tissue. A cure is possible, definitely possible. Oh shit, you really think you can figure it out? With Dr. Camden's help, yes, I think so. Uh, now, where did I put that injector? And who's Dr. Camden? A colleague trapped in Sector Zero. Where the outbreak first, well, broke out. We've been collaborating via radio, though we would have made more progress if the connection were better. Also, if my earlier experiments had borne fruit. I tried injecting recombined versions of the virus into chunks of meat and leaving them around the city, hoping some of the infected would eat them so I could observe and document the results. But they didn't? Uh, it bore no fruit. I'm ashamed that I wasted so much time on it. No reason to hold any antizen in reserve now. In any case... All right. I'm quite busy, so on your way now. What was I doing? Speed keeps you alive, so don't... Rahim, Zera checked me out and gave me another shot. Okay, great. That ought to hold you. For a while. Which is good, because I'm starting to get used to the idea of bossing you around. So, time for a real trial. Go talk to Spike. You'll find him near Zera's truck. He's got the first real job for you. Hey, Spike. I'm Crane. Just what I need. More unskilled labor. All right, shut up and pay attention. There are two types of airdrops. One is food, first aid supplies, survival gear and such. The other kind is filled with antizen. The GRE sends in a one-way video feed that lets us know when they're on the way. Look, the trouble is, the airdrops with antizen keep getting raided by Rise's thugs. And without antizen, we're basically screwed. Rise and his boys only operate during the day because going out after dark is a dandy way to get killed. But the next two Anderson drops are coming down right at sunset tonight, and Brecken means to go after them. This may be our only chance to reach the airdrop. What's my part here? Well, as I said, going out at night is basically suicide. Or it would be if I hadn't been setting up safe zones and traps out there for weeks now, which I have. Now, Brecken and his team will be okay tonight so long as you get out there now and arm those traps. That's your part. All right. What are these traps and how do I arm them? You'll see. I'll be talking you through it. Just remember, without these traps, Brecken won't survive the night. And if he doesn't come back with Antizen, we are lost. Before you head out there, grab some firecrackers. Made them myself. They make a fine distraction if you get in trouble. Okay, 
anyone outside right now. Urgent help needed. Um, I'm outside. I'm working for Spike. You're Crane, right? Listen, our runner's trying to secure one of our safe houses for Brecken's mission. He's in a courtyard by Vefa and Mimar, surrounded by zombies. We gotta help him. Alright, I'm on it. Okay, Jade, I'm here, along with some infected. Watch yourself, Crane. Too late for this guy. All right, finish it. Just okay, it's done. Fuck. You had no choice. He wasn't human anymore. Now hurry. You still need to turn on the lights. That's the only way to make this place safe at night. Shit. How's it coming? Got the lights on? Uh, almost. Just give me a second. here. Report. Okay, I met this doctor, scientist type. They've got him set up in a sort of research trailer and he's working on a cure for the virus. His name is Zera. Hello? Do you copy? Affirmative. Secondary objective added. Maintain your cover and secure all of his research. Acknowledge. Your stolen file still takes top priority though, right? Affirmative. We find it unlikely that a single researcher working out of a trailer could produce any significant results. But if he does, we want to see it. Jade, it's done. Good. We'll need to prepare more places like that one. We've got more spots picked out for future safe zones. Spike will mark them on your map later. And Crane. Thank you. Back to you, Spike. Right now, you need to get back to our main task and arm the next trap. There's another car close by. Got it. Infected are all over the street. So what does that tell you? Keep off the street. Try to stay on the rooftops where they can't reach you. They're all around the car, Spike. You still have some firecrackers, don't you? Just throw some into the crowd. Those dead bastards are easily distracted.
done with the car, Spike. Keep on like that, you just might make it. The next trap's still spot, and I shouldn't have to tell you, but don't get caught out in the open. Spike, these freaks are everywhere. If I need to use a trap, how do I activate it? You can't. I told you, they're only for the night mission. Shit. Okay. What a contraption you got here. Three times brighter than an ordinary street lamp. Keeps the effect of quite the sunburn. Okay, lights are all set. You ready for the next one then? Better hurry. Yeah. Spike, the whole goddamn district went down. What the hell's going on? Ugh, not again. All right, listen. There's a power substation near you. Go check it out. Hey, this blackout has really put us in a tight spot. We're defenseless here. Plus, the safe zones and some of my traps are down, too. We need to get the power up and running ASAP.
got the substation reset. But if the grid shorted once, you know it could happen again, right? You leave the electrical engineering to me, okay? Just get your ass to a safe zone. You're gonna have to spend the night there. I saw this freaking weird zombies covered in big green blisters. It, it hauled ass as soon as it spotted me. You know anything about it? <laughs> Not enough information, I'm afraid. But if you see another one, do let me know. Okay, give me a sec. If you need something, come see me. And to start with, here's a UV flashlight and a remote control. You run up on a volatile, give him a face full of UV, or lead him into a trap which you can trigger with that remote. You got it? Got it. Perfect. Now for the bad news. Despite your efforts, Brecken's mission failed. Oh, shit, is he okay? He's alive. But you need to get back to the tower. Jay called all the scouts in, and that means you.
did you hear about that? Crane here. Report. I'm about to have a meeting with the tower's leader. Acknowledged. Confirm his identity and contact us immediately. Nothing outside. Brecken's mission failed. Jade called a meeting in the tower. It's my opportunity to finally meet with Brecken and confirm his identity. Listen, Brecken and a team of runners went after an airdrop last night. He lost the rest of his team to biters and then Ryze's men ambushed him, beat him to a pulp and stole the drop. Now Brecken wants to go after the next drop himself, but we can't let him. And you've got to back me up, okay? For God's sake, you can't even walk straight. We need you alive, you idiot. Okay, we're going in. Act confident. Brecken? Lena? Maybe you can get through to him. Jade, who's your friend? Kyle Crane. Look, Brecken, the last thing we need is for you to go back out there. We can figure out another way without jeopardizing you. Right, Crane? I'll go. I'll do it. Right. Yes. Crane will go. He'll be happy to. Jesus. No offense, friend, but you're as green as grass. You can't just... Crane will manage. He'll start in the right spot. And Lena's right. You need to be here taking care of the towers, convincing them the world's not over yet. Oh, hell. Maybe one more try before we go to Rice. Yeah. Okay, fine. Good luck, Crane. Jade, a moment. Sure. Head for the cauldron. I'll be in touch shortly. Doc, there's something else we need to discuss. Brecken was hurt pretty bad out there. Worse than he wants people to know. He took a blow to the head. Now he's starting to have seizures, and I don't have any Lora tracks. Yeah, I doubt anyone does. Anti-seizure drugs were being passed out like candy when the infection first started. I mean, the stores ran out weeks ago. Yes, that's right. How do you know that? Look, what do you need me to do, Lena? There's a man in town named Ghazi. He's not altogether there, if you know what I mean. His mother had epilepsy, so he used to pick up medicine for her each month. She died two years ago. But Ghazi kept going to the store to pick up her prescription. He likes his routine, and Ghazi can be very... insistent. So, they kept giving it to him. You think he's been stockpiling it all this time? If he hasn't, I don't know where else we're going to get it from. Ghazi lives under the overpass. And don't mention his mother's death. 
He won't understand. With most of the runners out of action, Brecken wants the scouts to take their place. That means me. We're supposed to go for the next airdrop, right before sunset. Jade will be showing me the ropes. Yeah, that won't be awkward at all. Crane here. Report. Tower boss is named Brecken, and he's definitely not your man. The other likely suspect is this warlord, basically. Local guy. Calls himself Rise. He's hoarding Antizen and then gouging the hell out of anybody who wants to buy some. I'm on a mission to get Antizen from the airdrop. If I don't succeed, they'll have to come up with something else. Acknowledged. Good job, Crane. You're doing well. Stay on task, and we'll be in touch. Be sure to call us immediately if and when you get that Antison. Jade, I'm getting close to the drop zone. Good. Find some shelter and wait. Most of the drops seem to fall exactly in that area. And there's a crate. It looks intact. I'll check out what's inside. Nothing here. Did you see that? Yeah, two drops. They landed elsewhere, unfortunately, but you're not that far away. Get to those crates before anyone else does.
Jade Rice's men got here first. Fuck. Okay. Don't try to find them. Just find the second one. Look for the smoke from the flare. The crate should be close by. What? Why? Broke. I'm almost there. I can do this. Crane here. I'm about to recover an antizen drop. Good, Crane. This offers us a new strategy. Time to turn your attention to Rise. Listen closely. It's very possible that Rise is our man. So if you find an airdrop containing antizen, destroy it. What? What? what why? It will force interaction with Rise. You can go under Brecken's auspices as an ambassador, if you will. But, but there are civilians depending on this stuff. Our plan is focused on the greater good. Remember that. Jade, I'm at the airdrop. There's no antis in here. Done? Fuck. Fuck! All right. Get back here and be careful. The nightmares are awake. Don't let them see. Oh, shit. They must have heard me.
I made it in one piece. Now I know how Brecken must have felt running at night. It is no picnic. Gotta report to him and tell him I don't have any antis in. Lying to everyone stinks, but I know the GRE is working for the greater good. Come on. I mean, we need Anderson. I know, but buying from Rise? You can't be serious. For God's sakes, I'll go. I'm not scared. Absolutely not. We've discussed that already. No, we didn't discuss it. You just decided that I'll I... I'll go. Are you serious? Well, this Rice guy has never seen my face before. Clean slate, right? Could you guys give Crane and me the room, please? You sure you're up for this? Has to be done, doesn't it? Well, I'm not gonna argue. Race's place is over here. Just find out what this will cost us and come back in one piece. Brecken is so desperate he's ready to deal with the devil himself, Rise. And since I'm supposed to determine whether or not Rice is the one who stole the GRE's secret document, well, this is the perfect opportunity. Jade? Yeah, I copy. Something wrong? No, no, it's him. Um... Listen, Crane, we all appreciate what you're doing. And I know you're doing it to redeem yourself. Because Amir died saving your life. Look, I'm doing it because if we don't get Antis in from Rice, people will start to die. You know, I met Amir right after the outbreak. I didn't know him for that long, but... He was the best, most decent man I've ever known. But I just want you to know that I don't blame you. Amir knew the risk. And Crane, we know that you too are taking a risk to do this for us. I... Look, Jade, we'll talk when I get back with the Antizen, okay? Okay. Just... Just come back in one piece, alright?
Okay, Raheem, I'm here. Make sure they see you and know who you are. You don't want to sneak up on them. That's a good way to catch a bullet. Wish me luck, kid. Good luck, brother. You're going to need it. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Hands up! What the fuck do you want? I'm here to see Rice. Brecken sent me. Brecken? That asshole in the tower? All right. What does he want? I've come to make a deal. What kind of deal? The kind I make with Rice, not with his flunkies. All right. Let him through. This ought to be entertaining. How long have we been friends, Osman? We have been friends for a very long time. That is why I'm so surprised that you would steal from me. Haven't I seen you somewhere before? Now I give you a choice. Very simple. Your right hand or your left. <laughs> left! <laughs> Was that my left or your left? You have the look of the tower about you. What do you want? I'm here to make a deal. A deal. For fantasy, no doubt. Desperate times. And what do you offer in return? Hmm? Your services? Your loyalty? Perhaps I should take both. Talk to Karim. He's one of ours. Do what he asks of you, and Rise will consider giving your people some antazin. Understood? I don't seem to have a choice. Perceptive. I met Rice, and Jade's right, he's a psychopath. He's also the GRE's rogue operative. Now I've gotta cooperate with this piece of shit. Not only because of my mission, but also because he's got a ton of antizen stockpiled. Tower trash. There you are. Rice said you'd be coming by. I'm Karim. Crane. An American. I have an uncle there. Lives in Texas. You from Texas? You a cowboy? I'm from Chicago. Okay, Al Capone. We'll be in constant contact over the radio. That way I can make sure you get where you need to go. And where's that exactly? You're going to be climbing antenna towers and switching on shortwave radio modulators. Most of my men are too slow, too fat, or too drunk to climb a tower like that without killing themselves. And if I do this, I'll get the answers in? That's between you and Rice. I know better than to speak for him. Just don't fail. He doesn't handle disappointment very well. Guys. Just met a guy named Kareem. He's like Rice's major domo, I guess. Or number one flunky at the very least. Kareem's sending me to fix some antennas for Rice. Nothing better than being an errand boy.
Crane. Report. Just met Rise. There's no question, that's Suleiman. Guy's a psychopath. He's gone from ruthless politician to fucking warlord. Is he aware of your affiliation with us? No. He thinks I'm just a guy from the tower. In fact, he's making me jump through hoops before he'll give me any antizen. Acknowledged. Continue to do as he asks. Remember, we need that file. Great. Crane out. Hey, Al Capone. You ready to do this? What exactly am I doing? Radio communication has been pretty spotty in the quarantine. These modulators will help boost the signal, so Rise can communicate with Atlas at the far reaches of town. Well, that's a benefit for everyone, not just Rise. Perhaps. But the Emperor must monitor his empire. Kareem, I'm at the first antenna. If the power's not on, you'll have to turn it on. There'll be a switch in the small building at the antenna's base. Because this fucked up infected motherfucker with guts hanging out of his mouth just spit a bunch of toxic snot at me. Shit. Kareem, someone already scavenged this thing for parts. There's nothing up here to switch on. Fuck. I was afraid of that. All right. Head to the next antenna tower. It's not too far from there. 
Just use the zip line and head east. You'll see it. Kareem, what do I do if the second transmitter's trashed? The better question is, what will you do if you disappoint Rice? And the answer is probably, die horribly. Kareem, I'm at the second antenna tower, and the fence is electrified. I think someone's inside. That will be Alexei, and probably his son Christoph. I find them tires. Don't let them stand in your way. You've got to get inside and turn on the transmitter. <laughs>
the fuck do you want? I need to climb the tower. Why the hell would you want to do that? For Rise. He asked me to. Rice? <laughs> you don't look like one of his crew. Oh, fine. I'll just radio back and tell Rise that you wouldn't let me through. What? Fuck. No, no, no. I didn't say that. You want to climb? Fine. Go, go. I won't do this anymore. Will you keep your voice down? I don't care who hears me. Christoph, what's wrong with you? We're trying to stay alive here. Dad, these guys are killers. Yes, they're murderers. So, we work for them. That's how we stay safe. Think too much with your mouth, Christoph. Start using your head or you're going to get us both killed. This fucking climb was worth it. This thing's still intact. Let's see if it was worth the hassle. Hey, Kareem, second transmitter's up and running. Is it working? Kareem, do you hear me? Loud and clear. Nice job. You know the way back, right? Right. Raheem? The antennas. Bracken told me. Communication is crystal clear now. Good job, man. This helps everybody, but especially Dr. Zera and Dr. Camden. They can hit each other without static for the first time since... Well, ever. See you back at the tower.
to know. My name is Troy. I lead a small group of survivors over in Sector Zero. We call ourselves the Embers. Sector Zero is completely sealed off. Mr. Crane, until you restored radio communication, we didn't know if anyone else in the city was alive. I just wanted to let you know how grateful we are. You've given us a small measure of hope. Uh, well, I'm happy to help. If there's ever any way we can help you, Mr. Crane, Please, don't hesitate to ask. The job's done. Now it's time to get back to Rice and get that antis in. Well, you not only did the job Karim asked of you, but you made it back in one piece. Bravo. Can I get some answers in now? Did you think I would be satisfied so easily? You still have plenty to prove. Look, we really need the drugs. Let me have them now, and then I'll come back and do whatever. You'll get Antazine when I say you get it, not one second before. But, as I have established, I am not unreasonable. Do all that I ask of you, and I will give you not one, but two crates of Antazine. <sighs> all right, fine. What do you want me to do? This will be different from your exploits on the antennas. It will require a bit more persuasion. The imposing of one's will, the creation of one's own rules, that is what makes a man. Do you live by your own rules, Crane? Or are you merely someone else's puppet? I believe I know the answer. Talk to Karim before I decide you are no longer worth the trouble. Friend, Rice likes you, I can tell. Yeah, how? Because you are still among the living. The task at hand is as easy as can be. You simply have to make a few pickups from some nearby settlements. Which ones? The first is Jafar's wheel station. It's just east of here. But bear in mind, not everyone you talk to today will be in a cooperative state of mind. I'm sure you can be convincing, though, no? You here to join? <laughs> Shit, you were in the last minute. I can't say I'm surprised that Rise went back on his word. But the GRE won't let me just walk away. Plus, if there's any chance that we can get that Antis in, I have to try. So this time he wants me to gather protection money from the surrounding settlements. After this, he better hand over the drugs.
Crane here. Report. Another job for Rice. This one's pretty dirty. He's forcing me to collect the money he's extorting from a nearby village. Just do what he asks and stay close to him. Remember what's at stake. Yeah, Crane out. By the wheel station. Took you long enough. Get the job done and make it fast. This is just the first stop. You Jafar? Oh, I understand all. My name isn't important. What's important is that Rise sent me and that you owe him some money. I've never seen you before. For all I know, you're just some random asshole. Fuck off. I'll tell you what. How about I break both your legs and drag you through the streets back to Rice's place, huh? And then he can explain to you that you should have cooperated. Okay, okay. Jesus. You are one of Rise's thugs. You guys are the only ones who'd act this shitty. Here, here's your money. Take it. And if I have to come back here... You won't get any more attitude. Mi casa su casa. Just don't hurt me, all right? Hi. Kareem, it's me. So I just threatened to break an old man's legs. And it worked, didn't it? Next you collect the tribute from the fisherman's village. Head east, to the tunnel entrance. Their messenger always meets us there. Crane, how you doing, mate? I'm... Running errands for Rise. He wields a lot of power. He scares a lot of people. Damn right he does. Listen, mate, time's getting short. We're almost out of answers in. Much as I hate to admit it, I'm getting worried. Look, I'm doing the best I can out here, Brecken. I know, I know. I understand. I just want you to be aware of the stakes. I'm infected too, remember? Believe me, I'm motivated. All right, all right. Here's hoping you can make it back to the tower soon.
Hey, Cream, I just saw something I've never seen before. This huge, bloated infected just fucking exploded. Yeah, we call them bombers. Some of our guys use them to kill other infected. Shoot them, and they take out everything in a three meter radius. You kidding me? Keep your distance and you'll be fine. But what about the courier? Was he there? No, I didn't, I didn't see anybody, just fucking zombies. All right, you'll have to go to the village directly, I suppose. Look for a man named Gerson.
Okay, Kareem, I'm outside the village, but there's a whole horde of infected in there. So, clear them out. We get paid for protection. Do some protecting. Gate closed before more of those fuckers get inside.
Hello? Anyone here? Just stay still. Maybe you go away. Anyone here? Rice sent me. I'm here for a pickup. Yes? Who, who goes there? I'm here on Rice's behalf. I'm supposed to pick something up. Yeah? Hey, Rice sent me here to pick up something for him. Hey, anybody in there? Shh, not so loud. You brought the monsters. Look, I got rid of them, but you better reinforce that gate before more show up. You got rid of them? All of them? Rice sent me. You, Gersel? Oh, you were for Rice. Uh, I should have known this was too good to be true. You've taken enough. You can't have any more frickin' tell him. Ayla, please. Just let me talk to the man. You can't just push us around like this. Furkin gonna kick your ass. Do it, Furkin. Kick his ass. For God's sake. Look, I don't want any trouble. But we already paid this month. You're gonna bleed us dry. That is entirely not my problem. Rise wants his payment, so you make the payment or things get bad for you. And your woman. You can't threaten us. Kick his ass, Furkin. Give me a break, Isla. All right, fine, here. This is all of it. Ugh. A real man would have kicked his ass. Yeah, I'll leave you to it. Sounds like you have bigger problems than money. Okay, Kareem, I got Gersel's money. I fucking hate myself now, but I got the money. The self-hatred fades eventually. Just one pickup to go. At the ferry station on the old pier. There's a ferry? Well, there was until the Navy sent it to the bottom of the bay. Dozens of people were stranded there, waiting for another one that never came. Are there any boats left? Yes, but any boat that tries to leave the bay gets blown right out of the water. Here to make a pickup for Rise. Back already? We just paid off you blood suckers. <sighs> Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just trying to get by like everybody else. Yeah? So are we. Rise said he'd protect us if we paid him. But so far, all he's done is take our money. There's no protection, just threats. You any different? Look, all I want to do is get this over with. What's it gonna take, huh? Don't need to point out how easy it would be to set this entire place on fire. Jesus Christ, you people are fucking monsters. All my money's in that satchel. Take it and get the fuck out. Hey, for what it's worth, this isn't something I want to do. I'd rather be helping you guys. And yet you're still doing it, aren't you? Okay, Kareem, I made the collection at the ferry station, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to hell. Join the club. Now, 
Come back and claim your prize. Good job today. What's wrong? Someone's turned on the 18th floor. We're doing our best to contain the situation, but... We can't sugarcoat this crane. We need Anderson right fucking now! Rise has promised me two crates, Brecken. Two crates. I'm doing this shit as fast as I can, I swear. Just... God, just hurry, please! About halfway back, I guess. Good. I need you to make a quick detour. Not. Why? One of our patrols went off the grid somewhere near the market. How is that my problem? They're making it your problem. See if you can find them, or don't bother coming back. Kareem, I think I found your lost patrol. Something ripped them limb from limb. Search the bodies. Look for some blueprints in a small envelope. Don't damage them. They're worth more than all those dead assholes put together. Not yet, wait a sec. Is that all you got? Okay, I got it. Good. Bring it back to me right away. You're going to be a hero around here. You think you're Thank you! Come over here! I'm on the antenna, do you see me? I'm up here! I need your help! So, I think it's safe to say that Rice isn't the most popular person in town, huh? No, but he is the most feared. And you know the old saying, it is better to be feared than loved if one cannot be both. Ah, uh, Machiavelli. Correct. Smart fellow, that one.
the tower speaking? Remember, if you cannot reach the tower in time, get your ass to the nearest safe house and wait until dawn. Good luck. Blueprints. Excellent. You're a lot more dependable than most of these drunks. Rise is waiting for you. Maybe we can work together again sometime. God, I hope not. If you show them compassion, they will see it as weakness. Take your whole arm. Understand? I give you shelter, I give you bread, women, bullets, and you can simple task. I should send every one of you to the pit. Ah, the tower lackey returns. Do you have something for me, friend? Yes, I do. Now it's time for you to give me what you promised. Two crates of Andesin. I think not. Your loyalty to the tower is nothing but blind obedience, Crane. A coward's submission to false hierarchies. You follow their rules as thoughtlessly as you follow mine, like a good little dog. Look, we had a deal. <sighs> Your people need the Antazine. Now, more than ever, I would surmise. But a man who follows someone else's rules is no man at all. Here, I will allow you this much. You promised me two crates of it. This is only five vials. If you want more, I present you with an opportunity. The athlete, the Scorpion, Jade Aldemir. She's one of your number. Bring her to me. I have an arena where men fight for our amusement. I would have this Scorpion fight for us. I'm curious how long it will take for someone of her caliber to uh, break. What? No! No, forget it, I'm not doing it! I hear no true conviction in your voice, Crane. You have not yet made your choice, I can tell. Will you be a dog and save the dwellers of the tower? Or will you be a man and save the maiden? Go and think about it. Shit. cooperating with Rise. He wanted me to kidnap Jade Aldemir and dump her with him so he can make her fight in his pit. Yes, and? Was that it? What do you mean, was that it? I'm not a fucking human trafficker. You seem to have forgotten how much is riding on this file, Crane. If Rise wants one girl, then give her to him. You'll be there to keep an eye on her, won't you? What the... What the fuck kind of humanitarian outfit are you guys? And for that matter, if this project file can save the world, why keep it a fucking secret? We're not paying you to be insubordinate, Crane. Get this done. Fuck you, asshole. Guess what happened? None. And 
And our gas man Jeff up and quit on us last week. He was kind of irreplaceable. Maybe I can track him down. Make maybe, definitely, and get on it fast. Word is he's built up his own little fortress somewhere behind the train station. special life. Price takes everything away. Brecken, this is Crane. Do you copy? Brecken, do you copy? Shit. Jade, this is Crane. Do you copy? Crane, how much antisense did you get? Listen, Rice wanted me to... He was... Look, he screwed us, okay? I only got five vials. What? Damn it! That's only a few days worth. Listen, Crane, we've got a situation here. There's been an outbreak on the 18th floor. Get back here ASAP, and don't lose any of that Anderson. Slow down, brother. Oh, man. This means we can survive for the next couple of days at least. Thank you so much. Jade just told me there's been an outbreak on the 18th floor. I've got to get what little antis and I have back to the tower pronto. Do you have the antis in? Give it to me. So what happened? One person turned and had a couple of other people trapped. We could have sealed off that one apartment, but Brecken wanted to save as many lives as possible. It went bad. Somebody had to make the call. And now, we've lost the entire floor, including... including a couple of kids. You'd better talk to Brecken. I have to get these meds to Lina. This is where we get the announcements about the Antisyn drops. And they've just stopped. They were kids in there! I froze. Lena had to step up. Maybe she should be in charge. What the fuck, Crane? I'm no leader. I'm a goddamn parkour instructor. We saw all the free running. 
Wait, that was you? Like, Brecken, you showed these people how to survive. Do you know who my pockets were full of when I showed up in Haran? Fucking business cards. I was hoping to drum up some more students. Maybe get enough so I could save up and buy a house. Instead of that poxy little flat I've been renting. Listen. I'm gonna talk to Rice myself. Whoa, whoa, hang on a minute. Reckon these people still need you. Okay, just, just give me some time, all right? There's, there's gotta be another way, a better way. Fine, I'll wait, but not for long. Finally, I get to do some actual good. Raheem? Raheem, what are you doing up here? Hey, Crane. Can I trust you? <laughs> How much you had to drink, kid? Better I ought not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? See that skyscraper? The scout from the volatile nest in there. We take that out, and then running missions at night, we could totally do that. So I'm thinking, if we planted some explosives. Oh, Jesus. Raheem, you're not still on that. Crane, we have to do this. As long as that nest is there, we'll never be able to gather up enough antis. It would work. Make a good team. Ah! Shit, oh my... Ah! Don't drop me! Don't drop me! Oh, fuck. <laughs> See? Told you we make a good team. Look, Raheem, we don't have any explosives. I mean, none. The closest thing to what you're talking about are Spike's firecrackers. It, that, it's impossible. You don't know what it's like. All I can do is watch. Sit on my ass and watch everything happen and do nothing. I don't want to die here, Crane. Not like this, not helpless. If I go out, I'd rather go out doing something. What's this? I was set to fly out on Sunday. They quarantined us on Thursday. I already had my bags packed. I'll get look. I'll keep my eyes open, okay? If there's some way we can make this happen. Whatever. Oh. This is Crane, do you copy? What do you want, Crane? I want you to start the antizen drops again, at least near the tower. These people need help. We put you in Haran to find our file, not to play Mother Teresa. Or does this mean you've reconsidered Rise's proposal? Perhaps Miss Aldermere would even be willing to cooperate, test her skills in a new environment. You start giving us some antizen and then... And then we'll talk about what Rise wants. Oh, it's us now, is it? Well, I'm afraid your request is out of the question in any case. Things have gotten a bit strained with the Ministry. Resuming the airdrops would not be politically advantageous at the moment. Oh, you assholes take the fucking cake, you know that? You and your fucking file. Like, I'll locate the file for you, but I'm gonna take a good long look at it before I decide what to do about it. Loud and clear, what can I do for you? I don't know how much time we have, so the short version. I need your help. Rice has turned an abandoned school into a supply dump. And I think it may be where he's storing his antizen. If you and I sneak in there, we could get all the meds the tower needs. Are you with me? Yeah, I'm with you. Great. Look for me in one of the boxcars on the train trestle near the school. Okay. And listen, Jade. 
If we don't find that Antison, I'll need to talk to you about something. About what? Another option, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Right now, let's see what we can find in that school. Jade knows where we might be able to get more antis in. I'm supposed to meet her in one of the boxcars near the school. Radio signals are stronger now. men have been hauling boxes out of that place for hours. We need to get a closer look. What's in the boxes? Good question. If it's answers in, we need it. Bandits are inside. I only saw the ones that went in after Tahir, but I'm sure there's more. We should use different entrances. We'll cover more ground, and we'll make less noise moving separately.
Jade, they've got this door sealed off from the inside. You got any alternatives? I remember playing here as a kid. There was a basement entrance at the back of the building. No harm in trying it. Another dead end. Saw Tahir at the school. He and his men were hauling all kinds of stuff out of there. What the hell are they up to? Anyway, the fucker executed some survivors right in front of us. Nearly saw us. Time to sneak into that building. I hope there's some antis in there somewhere. Okay, Jade, I'm inside. Check the classrooms. That's the most likely place for them to store supplies. They should be marked somehow. Military jargon is pretty straightforward, so it shouldn't be hard to notice. Get through that way.
There's somebody in here. <laughs> <laughs>
Jade, no luck with any antizin. Looks like we'll have to talk about that other option. I still have classroom C to search, though. The basement's pretty big. Find the key. I'll meet you down there.
Here, would you? Yeah, sure. God, Crane, you're such an oaf. Why don't you just stick your head out the door and shout, Here we are, come get us! Hey, sometimes there's nothing wrong with a direct approach. Holy shit. That's plastic explosives, right? Listen, you take this stuff and get back to the tower. I'll deal with these assholes. Don't be ridiculous. We'll fight them together. And risk letting them keep this much ordinance? No, just go. I got this. Meet me back at the tower. Promise me you won't let Rahim near that high. What? Yeah, of course. I promise. I promise. Just go. Ugh! <sighs> 
shit. Jade and I went looking for Antizen and found explosives instead. Now we need to get the hell out of here before Tahir comes back. if we didn't find any antizen. And we will, but right now let's deal with these explosives, okay? Okay, listen. I'll give the explosives to Saeed and you talk to Rahim. Make sure he stays away from that hive. Will do. Don't worry. Don't worry? Right. You're crane, right? <coughs> ah. Now I can receive transmissions from all the districts. You need something? There's a lot to be done around the tower. I hope you find some time to take a look at it. Jade called me. She's taking the explosives to Saeed. She wanted me to talk to Rahim about the volatile hive and how she wants him to stay. Kren, Saeed told me about the explosives you guys found. How perfect is that? Jade gave them to him. Saeed used to be on a bomb squad, so he knows about that stuff. Yeah, kid. That was a lucky find. Would have been better to turn up some antis in, though. My buddy Omar is making sure Saeed's putting good timers on those things. We have to be able to get our asses out of there before they blow. Whoa, we? There, there's no we in this. I, I mean, yeah, that nest needs to go, and now it's possible, but... But if it gets done, I'm doing it on my own. But... it's my plan. And I will execute it perfectly, I promise. But... Ah, oh, shit. There's no use arguing with you, is there? Fine. I'll contact you as soon as Saeed's finished with the charges. Rahim, do we have a deal? I guess. Do we have a deal? Yes. 
We have a deal. Okay, one more thing. I keep seeing this bizarre kind of infected. Is Dr. Zera out at his trailer? I'd like to talk to him about it. Nah, he's down in sick bay visiting Dr. Lina. Thanks, kid. I'll see you soon. Hey, Doc, you got a minute? Oh, it's, uh, Kane. Yes. Uh, how can I help you? A crane. Remember when I told you about that weird infected I saw? You know, the one who took one look at me and hauled ass away? Yeah, well, I just saw another one, and it did the same thing. Hmm. I believe I have heard your colleagues talk about those creatures. Bolters, they call them. Apparently, they favor certain areas of town over others, but only appear at night. I don't suppose you could catch one and bring me a sample of its flesh. You see, a thought occurred to me. A long shot, I realize. But if these creatures favor areas where I left my experimental bait, well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Please do obtain a sample, but it has to be fresh. So you have to get it back to me quickly. Okay, and where exactly do I find these things? I'm told that Quartermaster chap has been keeping track of them. Zara asked me to bring him a sample from that bolter I saw in front of the school. He said they'd been spotted in specific areas of the city, so I should focus my search in those places. He also said I needed to get that sample back to him while it was still fresh. So I gotta move. There's a lot to be done around the tower. I hope you find some time. What can I do for you? Doc Zera says you know where I should look for these, uh, bolters. Super fast infected, covered in big green blisters. Oh yeah, yeah. I can point you in the right direction. Here, here, and here. Though you ask me, if trouble don't come looking for you, no reason to go looking for trouble. <laughs> Words to live by, thanks. Come here. Of course. Special deal for you. What's up, Spike? Just FYI, if you need me, I'll be at the ferry station helping Morgan prep the barge.
Okay, Doc. Here comes your chunk of zombie guts. Come in, come in. Did you get the samples I asked for? Excellent, excellent. I was just telling Dr. Camden about... Hello, you. Mr. Crane. Glad to have you working with us. You uh, sound like an impressive individual. Interesting stuff what passes for blood in this creature. Photosensitive. Quite deadly if used on a weapon, I'd wager. But I digress. My last bit of reagent here and a reserve vial of, oh my word, this tissue. It's testing positive for the recombined virus. Camden, do you know what this means? The meat experiment worked. When I dosed the meat samples with the altered strain, it's had an effect. This could explain all the different mutations. But I can't. Camden could. He has the equipment, but we have no way to get the research to him. Well, you can talk to him on the radio. Why not share the info that way? There's too much data, Crane. It would take years. We'd both be dead and gone before he finished. Water, water everywhere, and not a drop to drink. What if I delivered this stuff to you, Dr. Camden? By hand. The data and the tissue samples both. Crane, getting from there to here would be insanely dangerous. Yeah, but it could mean a cure, right? You don't know how much this means, dear boy. To me, to all of us. I'll contact you when everything's ready. You must go now. Much to do. Much to do. What? Fucking hell, Raheem, that was my job! Oh, right, because you're more qualified to handle explosives than I am. You're just a goddamn tourist! But listen, we messed up. Messed up bad. All right, what happened? Where are you? We're on the overpass, and it's all going to shit! Listen, head to the train yard. Find a place to hide. I'm on my way. Omar, behind you! Behind you! Raheem! Raheem! Damn it. Brecken. Brecken, do you copy? Yeah, I copy. What is it? 
I'm on my way to get Raheem. Raheem? He's here in the tower. No, he's not. He and Omar went to blow that nest, and now they're in trouble. It's like, what? Fuck! Where'd they get the explosives? Well, I... Look, I stole them from Rise. Oh, Jesus, I just trust. I'm close. I'll get him to safety, Brecken. You damn well better. You save him, you hear me? You save him so I can kick his fucking ass. Does Jake know about this? No, she doesn't. For God's sake, don't tell her. She'll go out looking for him, and I don't need her getting herself killed too. God damn it! <clears throat> Are you? Brecken, it's me. I found Omar's body on the overpass, but no trace of Raheem. Shit. Any idea where he'd go? I told him to hide in the train yard. You find him, you hear me? That little bastard better be alive. found Omar's body on the overpass. Raheem must have gotten away, at least I hope so. I told him to hide in the train yard so there's a chance he's still alive.
bombs. They'll blow in less than five minutes. Oh shit, kid, you're bleeding. Huh? Oh, I, I cut myself. It's not the fuck. Just, just plant the bombs. All right, don't move. You got it? I'll, I'll be right back. <laughs> There's a sewer entrance here in the terminal, near the west wall. Use that tunnel. It'll take you straight to the hive. Okay, I'm back on the surface. See that big ass culvert over to your right? Head through it. Once you get into the building, head up the ramp and get up to the floor above. You need, you need to put the bomb on one of the big support columns. <laughs> Okay, first one set. Okay. Pay attention. Find some stairs. And get to the next floor up. You're looking for another column. Like the first one. Alright, got it. Raheem! Hey, it's me, kid. I did it! Ah, oh, Raheem! Oh, you should have seen it. Oh, God. The whole damn building came down! Oh, shit! Oh, no, 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 Raheem, stop! Raheem, it's me! It's me, kid, it's clean! Oh, Jesus! Raheem, stop! So. That's a fucking bite wound. Oh. You goddamn stupid fucking kid! Oh god. Jade. Oh. Crane, do you copy? What's going on? Brecken. Raheem. Raheem is dead. Fuck. Get back here, and don't say a word to Jade. Not yet. Raheem's dead. He lied to me about that bite because he wanted me to blow up that fucking building. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna tell Jade.
Holy shit! What are you doing out here? I've heard that all people in the school were slaughtered. Come here. I've got a special. Don't do that again. Brecken. How did he die? I had to kill him. It was too late. He, he turned. I had no choice, I swear. Look, look he was my friend, too. He was the best one I had here. I know, I know. He frustrated the shit out of me sometimes. I loved him like he was my own kin. Another dead friend. Another dead brother. I trusted him. I trusted him with those explosives. God, maybe if I didn't leave him there, he'd... He'd still be alive. I... I... Oh, no. Jade! Jade! Wait! Jade, God damn it! Just... just give her time. She needs to grieve. Whoa. Sarah! Shit! Get down there! You can't let them take you! Shit! No! 
was no one inside. They took Zera and drove away. Shit, Brecken. Zera has been kidnapped. His trailer's on fire. God damn it! You see what happens when you fuck with rice? You should never have hit Askul. Some of our people spotted a big knot of bandits heading back to Rice's garrison. That's gotta be where they took Zara. You go there and you find him and you bring him back alive. You hear me? Garrison's shut down. The doors are sealed off. I don't think I can get in. Find another way in, then. Check the back, but don't take any stupid chances. Those bastards will rip you apart if they get the opportunity. I can't say it was easy, though. I'm going in. Just keep your eyes open. Good luck in there.
Rice's men kidnapped Zara, raided his truck, and took all his gear. I just hope they didn't take all his research as well. Crane here. I could really use some GRE support right now. That's too bad, Agent Crane. This is the Ministry of Defense. The fuck? What the hell's going on? What happened to the GRE? The global relief efforts position here has been diminished. We are in charge now, and we have declared Haran a Code 1 target zone. Wait, 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 wait. Just hang on. You, you can't just carpet bomb this place. There are still hundreds of innocent people in here. Maybe thousands. Irrelevant. We're doing this to protect billions of lives. Surely you can understand that. Okay, okay just, just listen. There's this scientist in here named Zara, and he's been doing research on a cure, and he's really close. I've seen the research. If you bomb the city, just... Acknowledged. The chances of one scientist in a wrecked city coming up with useful results are negligible at best, but... You have 48 hours. Maybe I could pry it open.
friend. I couldn't find Zara inside. The building looks empty, though. There's an underground level. Maybe he's down there.
at him! Doc, it's me. Crane, thank God. Listen, this is important. I'm not safe anymore, obviously. But my research must not die with me. You're not gonna die, Doc, but right now we have to get out of here. So please, lower your voice. Oh, oh, yes. All right. But understand, my research, it must reach Dr. Camden. That's why I gave the packages to Jade. I know you said you would deliver them, but she was there, and time being of the essence. Doc? Uh, uh. So, it takes no more than a false hope of rescue to loosen the good doctor's lips. I'm the Scorpion down. Spare no resource. With pleasure. And these two? What should we do with them? You'll never find her. Never. And I'll never talk. You'll get nothing from me. I'm less concerned with making you talk, Doctor, than I am in preventing your escape. <laughs> Sadistic fuck, he's an old man! Give the Doctor some first aid. And take her into the pit. <laughs> I found Zara, but before I could get him out of there, Rice ambushed us. I'm not sure what Rice has planned for us, but whatever it is, I'm sure it's not going to be pleasant. Stand him up. Oh shit. Doc. You come to us, like a snake in the grass. Here, in a city of lies, you are the biggest liar of them all. What are you talking about? 
Answer me, motherfucker! Yes. Lose control. That is what you Americans are so good at, after all. If I... Not bad. Clear out the corpses. Leave, Crane. Yes, sir.
your feet here will spread. Such a shame you'll be a corpse by then. Is this your first feeble attempt at controlling your own destiny, Crane? Too little, too late, I fear. Impressive! For a walking dead man. This will only prolong the inevitable, but try to make the best of it, eh? Let no one say I never gave you anything, Crane. Your skills no longer come as a surprise, Crane. The GRE selects its operatives well. Shit. Lower the platform.
dropped the weapon. Chaos, Crane. Chaos is the one true order of things. But to pretend otherwise is the sheerest folly. Allow me to demonstrate. Hassan, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Publish the file. Right away, sir. And there. Easy you said. Mad. You just doomed thousands of innocent people. That's what you get with your fucking chaos. You don't know what was on that file, do you, Crane? You want to prove my point for me. The GRE plans to weaponize the virus, not cure it. They're only interested in profit, not saving lives. And by following their rules, you have become their trained monkey. Pathetic. All right. Kill him. Doc, come on, let's get you out of here. Crane, save these people. They don't deserve all of this. You, give me that torch. <laughs> Crane! What are you swine waiting for? Shoot him! I'm sorry, Doc. I found a way out of the arena. Now I gotta haul ass back to Brecken. But Zara, he didn't make it. He said he gave his research to Jade before Rice grabbed him, so there might still be a shred of hope for a cure.
to hide you at the pier. Half of Rice's men are after you. Whatever you've done, it's really put them on the warpath. I have to talk to Jade. Zara, he gave her his research. She took it to Camden. Well, she tried to. Camden radioed that Rice's thugs had found his lab. So he flooded it with biters and barricaded himself in the middle. Now he's trapped. Then the connection failed. We haven't been able to raise him since. I'm going after her. How was she getting in? That part of town is sealed off. There's a group called the Saviors that smuggles people through. They have a den at Nico's bar in the cauldron near the highway. The contact's name is Jenk. Do, do you have enough runners to cover airdrops? The airdrops stopped 36 hours ago. There won't be any more. We're out of time, Crane. Shit. All right. I don't know if I can fix this, but I'm sure as hell gonna try. You know. Most men in your situation will crawl into a hole and hide. Hats off to you, mate, and good luck. Hey, Crane, here's your gear. Best regards from Kareem. <laughs> Kareem, huh? Uh, if you see him, thank him for me.
collapsed in a couple of seconds. A deal. She called to thank me after I got the antenna towers working. You should contact her when you get there. Well, good idea. Thanks, Brecken. Right. You take care.
What do you want? I'm looking for the saviors. Don't know what you're talking about. I'm one of Brecken's men from the tower. I don't care where you're from. Get your ass out of here or I'll stop being so fucking polite. Listen, I know you're smuggling people out of the slums. There's a girl who came through. Jade? I think you better get the hell out of here. No, just listen. I cut Rise up and now his whole goddamn gang is after me. I could use some cooperation here. You? You're the one who chopped Rice's hand off? Yeah, and now I have to get to Sector Zero. What's your name? Crane. Well, Crane, you're in for some heartbreak if you think going to Sector Zero will get you off Rice's shit list, but wait here. I got a guy here who claims he's the one who took Rice's hand off. Crane. Yeah, that's what he said. You? Are you sure? Oh, okay. Right. Come here. Okay, we'll get you to the other side. Right, when? Right now. What about payment? What you did to Rice, that's more than enough payment for us. Go to the collapsed tunnel that led to Old Town. Knock at the door that leads to the sewers. Someone will take good care of you. Will do. Thanks. Nah, man. Thank you.
At first, Jenk was reluctant to even talk to me, but after I mentioned what I did to Rice, the Saviors decided to give me a hand. They helped me get to Sector Zero. Crane? Yeah, that's me. Good to meet you. I'm Hazan. I'm going to be helping you change your scenery. So did you take Jade through too? Who? She's from here. Dark hair, pretty, tough as nails. Uh, maybe. Don't know. We don't always ask names. Okay, from here on out, you're on your own. The route is marked. I'll stay in touch over radio. It's been a pleasure, my friend. We need to do this one by one, and this man needs to go first. But he just got here. We've been here for hours. I don't read the rules. Wait here. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Shit, where are they? How long are we supposed to wait for them? As long as it takes. Reckon do you copy? Crane here. What's going on, mate? Tell everyone to stay away from the saviors. They sold me out to Rice. I barely made it out alive. Shit. I hope you're okay. Be sure to contact Troy when you get to Sector Zero. She's the only friendly face you have over there. Got it. Will do. Keep your fingers crossed for Saviors my ass. The bastards are working with Rice. They ambushed me and I barely got past them. So much for trusting people. Okay, here goes nothing. Jade, it's Crane. Do you copy? Jade, it's Crane. Can you hear me? Damn it. All right. It's time for some local talent. Troy, this is Crane. Do you copy? Crane? It's great to hear from you. What can I help you with? Yeah, I'm in your neck of the woods now, and I'd love to put our heads together. Where can I find you? You're here? In the Zero? Fantastic. Have you seen a pair of towers, one taller than the other, with scaffolding around them? We call that our loft. Head that way, and we'll be waiting. Dr. Camden, do you copy?
Hey, you're Crane, right? Yeah, that's me. I'm Michael. Troy's waiting for you in the loft. Good to have you here, Crane. Crane! <laughs> it's a pleasure, mate. Uh, I'm Savvy. Need anything technical? I'm your man. I've almost rigged a way to break through the chrome jamming. Come on, say hello to Troy. Hey, I'm Kyle Crane. It's good to finally put a face with the voice. You're looking for Jade Aldemir, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Have you seen her? I mean, you know where she is? Jade, this is Troy. Do you copy? Go ahead, Troy. Jade? Hey, it's Crane. Now, I know you're headed for Dr. Camden, but his clinic's surrounded by zombies and Rice's thugs, so just let me come and help you. Crane, stay away from me. I hear your voice, and all I can see is my brother. Please, just hear me out, okay? Look, the thing is, the GRE hired me, all right? I was supposed to find out where Rise sent this this classified file, but but that doesn't matter anymore because the Ministry contacted me. Jade, they were going to firebomb the city, but I talked them into waiting because they want that research that you're carrying. Now we need to figure out some way to let them know that we've got it. You bastard! You bastard! Jade! Jade! Damn it. Crane. The last time I spoke to her, she was at the university. It's due east from here. If what you just said is even a little bit true, you will have to find her. What is it, Troy? Savvy has an idea how to break through the radio jamming and contact the outside world. He'll be working on that while you're busy looking for Jay. I'll be in touch. And if I may make a suggestion, avoid the infected if you can, okay? They've always been dangerous, but now they're mutating into something even more deadly. Have you seen a woman named Jade Aldemir? She's got long dark hair, she's tough as nails. Yeah, she was talking to what's his name over there. Thanks. Jade? Jade! Are you here? Who are you? What do you want? <sighs> no sign of Jade. Hey, 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 can you help me? I'm looking for a young woman, dark hair, petite, takes no shit from anyone. Her name's Jade Aldemir. Yes, she was here. You didn't miss her by too much. She waited around for a while with a big scowl on her face, and then took off. God damn it, did she, did she say where she was going? No, but you're Crane, right? She left this for you. That's a mirror. Why would she have left me this? Well, I can't say for certain. But she did ask me to tell you, not again. Don't know what that's supposed to mean. Want a deal? Jade, this is Quain. Do you copy? Jade, can you hear me? Troy, this is Quain. Do you copy? Why? What do I what do I have to see? You have to see it for yourself. Just get back here, all right? I'm serious.
No matter how many times I watch it, I still can't believe it. An internal global relief effort document surfaced today that, if verified, implicates the GRE in a far-reaching criminal conspiracy. Instead of trying to find a cure for the Haran virus, according to the file, the GRE had plans to weaponize it and sell it to the highest bidder. Worldwide backlash has... No, no, skip to the important bit. I was the last survivor left in the quarantine. I can't believe I made it out. I can't believe I'm still alive. We mourn all those who didn't survive. But as the president said in a speech here earlier today, life is for the living. Military troops have searched for survivors all over the quarantine, but now there's no one left besides the infected. According to Colonel Tanner, once his decontamination process is finished, the infection will be completely obliterated. Oh, the ministry did this. <laughs> They're making their excuses to the rest of the world for destroying a city. Look, Crane. Before you go charging out of here, we already had an idea of how to send a message. We were going to plant explosives in a building and set off fires in a pattern, something the zombies could never do. Trouble is, we got the runner, Michael, over to the right building, but he can't get through to the top floors. Too many biters. As much as I hate to admit it, none of the rest of us are strong enough to do this job. Well, we've got to do something right fucking now, or you, me, Jade, and everybody else are going to get blown to bits. I tell Michael I'm on my way, and while I'm doing that, can you get in touch with Jade? Try to get her to meet me. You have my word. Frank, uh, one more thing. I gotta find Michael. Whatever the embers have in mind, if it stands any chance of working, I I've gotta make it happen. Oh! 
Why you gotta sneak up on a guy like that? Jesus, you almost gave me a heart attack. I didn't mean to scare you, Michael. Okay, ooh, okay. Troy said you were on your way. God, I'm glad she didn't see me jump like that. She'd never take me seriously. You got a little crush, huh? How could I not? Have you met her? That's why I volunteered for this. But so you're risking your life with a horde of flesh-eating zombies to impress a girl? Mate, before the outbreak, the most impressive thing I'd ever done was win a spelling bee, okay? Troy would have never even looked at me, so I'll take my opportunities where I can. All right, fair enough. Tell me what needs to happen here. Uh, well, okay, um, I tried to finish the job, but I couldn't get past the ninth floor. All right, leave it to me. What needs to happen is you take these explosives, turn on the gas ovens, and plant charges in a few specific apartments. Well, that'll make a pattern, huh? One nobody outside Haran can mistake as random. If they can explain this shit away, we are all gonna be really fucking impressed. Now, if you're ready, your first stop is on the 10th floor. For now. Michael, I'm on the 10th floor. 
Right. Look for apartments 105, 106, 134, and 137. Okay, I'm done with the first apartment. Good work. Get to the next one. Second apartment's done. Damn, you're better at this shit than I am. Next you need... Oh, shit. What's wrong? Michael! I've got some company here. Oh, get back, you bastards! Michael, get out of there! Get to safety! No, I can hold him off. You've got to finish the job. I'm not going anywhere until this is done.
Is that a child crying? <laughs> Fuck, what is this? Okay, all done. Great, and uh, if you could get back down here, I wouldn't turn down a helping hand at this point. Listen, hey, are oh, you sneaky fucker? Jesus Christ! Michael? Listen, if I don't make it, you have to grab- Get off me! Grab the detonator! Get the hell out of here and blow this place! Michael, get the fuck out of there and head back to Troy, right now! Just leave the detonator! Michael! Michael! Oh, shit. I have the detonator now. Let's see what this is all about.
contact with Jade? Crane. Jade, J is that you? Crane, I heard what you did. I see what you did. Okay, so, do you believe me now that I'm on your side? Bitches! Crane, if you're really on our side, you've got to contact the GRE. They must stop the Ministry from bombing the city. Look, I know, but I lost my one and only way to reach them. Guys, listen. Savvy's figured out a way to break through the jet. He just needs your help to do it. Okay, Jade, you heard that? We have to meet. Yeah. That red building on Emerald Canal. We'll go from there. And Crane, be careful. The infected here are even more ferocious than the ones in the slums. Jade! Jade! Troy, this is Crane. Rise has taken Jade. He, he has her in some museum somewhere. Do you know what he's talking about? Museum, yes. Rise is using it as his headquarters. Crane, you can't go there. That place was built as a fortress. You'd be walking into a massive trap. No, no, no. It's not subtle enough to be a trap. There's got to be a way to sneak in, right? I mean, some way to surprise him? Let me think. Uh, Tariq, maybe? He's the museum's curator. He should know something about the dungeons hidden beneath the fortress. Great. I'll talk to him. All right. There's a building with a rooftop garden. You'll find Tariq there. And listen. If you get the chance, find yourself some new weapons. You'll need them.
pretty comfortable. Tariq? What do you want? We don't have anything here but a few scraps of food. Well, relax. Troy sent me. Troy? Oh, thank God. I've been a nervous wreck since I found this kid. He's got nobody to look out for him. But I'm not so good with kids, you know. That's not why I'm here. But Troy promised she'd send someone. I need to get into the museum. The museum? But Troy told me someone would come to help. She promised. Okay, Tariq, you, you tell me how to get into the museum and maybe I can sort out your problem here, okay? Rise controls the museum. He would kill you on sight. Well, then I can't have him see me. Now, Troy said you used to be the curator, and that if anybody would know a way in, it'd be you. So, how do I do it? <laughs> do you have scuba gear, perhaps? <laughs> no. Too bad. There's an entrance under the surface of Emerald Pond, but it would be a long swim under the water. You would most likely drown. It will most likely isn't definitely, so I guess I'll give it a try. Ah! <sighs> 
Jade's being held hostage at the museum. The choice is the place was originally built as a fortress, and now it's Rice's biggest outpost in Sector Zero. I gotta get in there before Jade gets hurt. Or killed, or worse.
Suck at pep talks, Troy. Not my job, but good luck. We meet again. The last time we met, you took something of mine. Now, I took something of yours. I don't negotiate with assholes, Rice. I get out of here with Jade, or I take your other hand, too. Your choice! You cannot simply demand to have her crane. You must make a showing of effort first. Attack! Move it, boys, move it! Go, go, go! <sighs> It's all fucking day!
Not this again! Ugh. Jade! Oh shit! Oh shit, what have they done I'm... to you? Fine, Crane. To hear knocked me over the head before he dumped me in here. Just... Give me a minute. I'll be right as rain. You do not have the luxury of a minute, Scorpion. In fact, what little time you have, you owe to me. Thanks to your repair of my antennas, Crane, I've listened to every word any of you have said. How do you suppose I found you, Miss Aldemir? 
Order, good Dr. Campbell. How do you think I broke the connection between the sectors? I am the director of this field. And now that I have Zera's research, the GRE will do as I command, which renders the two of you useless. Tahir! You took offense, Crane, as I re at being referred to as a trained monkey. But look at you now, dancing for our amusement. You are strong enough to have joined me, but you lack the proper time. Consider this a character strengthening exercise. Come on, Jade, let's get out of here. Oh, Jade, are, Jade, are you hurt? Did, they didn't bite you, did they? I'm fine, I'm fine. Just give me a second. Sweet little Jade is far from fine, Crane. She was bitten and infected hours ago. How noble of her to try and hide it from you. Biter got me on the leg. You didn't need to know. Once again, you find yourself with a choice, Crane. Your precious Scorpion is about to turn. But so are you. Who will receive the antasy? Who has a hope of living through this encounter? It's up to you now. Jade, here. You take this. No! no come on. Listen, I've still got some in my system. You need this worse than I do. Crane. I just want you to promise me one thing. When the time comes, you're the one who takes me out. What? No, I... Come with me! Jade, I, I can't... Crane. Crane, can you hear me? Jade, where are you? Jade! Hear me, Crane. Crane. Crane, can you hear me? What the? Jade, where are you? Jade? to try and save me. Not everybody would have offered that vial the way you did. But it's too late for that now. It's too late for me. for Amir's death. I wanted to kill you. But I realized it was time for Amir. It was time for him to go. Oh my god! No, not Everybody this again! Is fine, oh. Crane. You can't deny it. It's pointless. Get here, and eventually we die. God, please. And there's nothing Not we now. can do to change that. They will catch us! Oh my god! No, not this again! Oh. 
The only thing we can do is make what happens in between count. Save these people. They don't deserve all of this. <laughs> his life in my stomach. And now he's gone. Rahim's life counted. And now he's gone. If sacrificing my life means saving everyone in Haram, then that's what I want to do. Take that away from me, Cray. I was born premature. The doctors didn't think I was going to live. But I fought. I struggled and I fought. And I worked and worked and worked. Came the scorpion. I left my mark on the world. Oh shit. No. Not now. No. God damn it, no, don't make me do this! Oh no. Oh god, Jade, what was that? I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. to live, Kyle. You just remember what you promised me. All of this, and still you had your choice made for you. Disappointing, Crane. You, you, you and you, get in there and kill them. Huh! 
Get shot, huh? Oh, shit, this is just the tissue samples. Where's the other package? Go to hell, Crane. Wow, to hear. You know, you're looking pretty fucked up, huh? Yeah, those don't look like the kinds of wounds you recover from. So, then kill me. No, no, I shouldn't. I should just leave you here to suffer. That's what you deserve. Yes, then why don't you? Because you're not the kind of loose end you leave untied. Troy, it's Crane. Crane? You're alive. Troy, Jay... Jade's dead. Oh... I'm sorry. I, I'm really sorry, Crane. I, I mean it. What happened? Jade saved my life, Troy. Again. She died... saving me. Crane, you've still got to call off the Ministry. That's why Jade sacrificed herself, so you could do this. Is Savvy there? Has he figured out how to get a message through? Yes, but to do it, you need to meet me. I have to give you an amplifier that Savvy says can help us break through the signal jamming. I'll wait for you in the safe zone. Halfway to the antenna, where you'll need to mount the amp. Okay, Troy. On my way. It's over when I say it's over. This is it for you.
Jade and I are both infected, and Rice made us fight for Antizin. She... she let me have it. Sacrificed her life for me. And when she turned, I... I had to put her out of her misery. First Raheem, now Jade. I swear I'm gonna fucking make Rice pay. Dr. Camden, it's Crane. Do you copy? Crane. Good to hear you're still alive. Did you find Jade? Yeah, yeah, I found her. Listen, I also found Dr. Zara's tissue samples. I'll bring them to you, but first there's something else I need to do. <sighs> okay, Crane, but remember, we don't have a lot of time. Look, I know, Doc, but I'm about to buy us time. I'll be in touch. So, what do I have to do? You need to install it at the highest place possible. That way we'll have the best chance to break through. Okay, so let me guess. I need to head out to that giant antenna tower at the edge of town? The fastest way is through the sewers. Savvy will guide you over the radio. 
so contact him when you get to the other side. And Crane, when you install the amp, make sure to set the correct frequency on your radio. Pull this off, and the entire world will hear you. Let's hope so. See you, Troy. We need to make sure the signal is strong enough to get past the jamming. Installing the amplifier on the tallest antenna tower in Haran should do the trick. Hopefully. Savvy says the safest way there is through the sewers. Oh, 
Okay, how to get from here to up there. I gotta find a ledge or something. Beautiful weather. Oh, this must be the place. <laughs> One day I'm gonna do this and end up landing on a bag of rusty knives. I just know it. Hey, Sav, are you there? Uh, yeah, man. You okay? I'm above ground and still in one piece. There'll be no power to the antenna. Okay, where do I get this card? You'll have to search the containers. It'll be in one of them. Would I have to search the place? You mean the card might not even be here? No, no, it's, it's there, mate. It's just the last guy who tried to do something like this made it to one of the containers before we uh, lost contact with him. <laughs> <laughs>
Nothing. These fuckers again. Yes! Fucking finally! Got it. Savvy, I got the key card. Great. Now go to the substation. It's close to the antenna mast. Inside the fence. to get inside.
Savvy, I'm in. Okay, good. Turn on the transformer. Holy shit! Just get to the top, no sweat.
Frequency on your radio when you mount the amp. Yeah, yeah, got it. It waits till I'm all the way up here to stop raining. Anyone who can hear me, please listen. My name is Kyle Crane, and I'm sending this message from inside the Huron quarantine. Colonel Tanner and the Ministry of Defense have lied to you. There are still survivors inside the walls. They plan to firebomb Haran, but if those bombs drop, you will know Tanner and the Ministry are cold-blooded murderers. Holy shit, there's someone alive in the quarantine zone? Hey, do you copy? Do you copy? It's Squadron! I knew it! That was too close. How the hell do you want? We want to offer you a chance to get out of that horrible place. Oh yeah? And why would you do that? I never found out who had your precious file. You don't even have to pay the rest of my fee. Water under the bridge, Kyle. We're best off just to move past that. All you need to do is to bring Dr. Zara's research with you, and we'll send a nice, safe helicopter to extract you. You realize I know what was in the file. I knew you were going to exploit the virus. Crane! Oh my god. You need the cure now for spin, don't you? That's the only way you could get out of this. Try to convince everyone you were working toward a cure the whole time. Don't be ridiculous. Bring us the research and everything will be fine. You want the research? Just fucking wait for my signal. Savvy, you there? The amplifier's installed. Brilliant, Crane. Now just zip line down. That tunnel I mentioned is near where you land. No, no, no! Yeah, nothing can go wrong with this plan.
I got a message out to the world, and just in time. The Ministry's bombers peeled off and left. But then the GRE contacted me. Seems they want me to get Dr. Zera's research together and give it to them, so they can convince the world they've been working on a cure instead of a way to profit off people's misery. Fuck that. I've got other plans. Yes! Dr. Camden, this is Kyle Crane. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Are you on your way? I'm ready to work. Just bring me the samples. That's exactly what I intend to do, Doc. Just remember, I'm surrounded by an army of infected. Yeah, affirmative. Expect me soon. Good. Not like I'm going anywhere. Ugh! <laughs> 
Crane. Yeah, I can see you through the security cameras. Yeah, that's me. Name's Crane. Use the elevator. Push the button for the bottom floor. Got it. With Zara's research, Dr. Camden might actually have a chance to develop a cure. I was sad to hear about Dr. Zara. He and I were thrilled to get the chance to study the Haran virus. And not to mention, the GRE paid us quite handsomely. Oh, by the way, we're on backup power now, so we have minimal functionality. I needed extra power for my last experiment, and the generators overheated and shut down. I, uh... Hope you don't mind me reminiscing out loud like this. It's, uh, it's been quite a number of weeks since I've had the prospect of talking to an actual live human in person. can only be opened manually. You'll, uh, you'll have to get to the security room and throw the switch. On my way. the main corridor. The lab is on the left. When the outbreak happened, Zara and I stayed in the quarantine to work on the cure. You know who was supposed to protect us? Kadir Suleiman. Rise himself. <laughs> that worked out just perfectly.
Okay, the only way into the lab is through the decontamination room. The entrance is to the right. Everything went straight to hell after Rise's brother died, you know. Rise went from a guy with monstrous tendencies to a full-blown monster. <laughs>
Now head back to the decontamination room. You know, I suspect even if Zara had been able to leave the quarantine, he wouldn't have. He and the operative both felt the need to stay and help people. Push the button by the door to begin the process. Now you can come in. Crane. Glad to be finally shaking hands with you. Now, let's have those tissue samples, shall we? Hey, Doc, you mind if I show you a photo? No, 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 just, just, just one minute. Was it you wanted to say? Hey, that's him. That that that's the GRE operative I was telling you about. What's his name? Amir. Yes, yes, Amir Goreshi. What are you doing with a picture of him? We uh, we had a mutual friend. The samples are still viable. That's good. With some luck, your trip here won't have been for nothing. Uh, where's the rest of the data, by the way? I know Zara prepared two packages. Yeah, I'll have to get back to you on that, Doc. Right now I have some GRE shitheads to confront. GRE? Crane, you watch yourself around them. Their public face is a lie of epic proportions. Those people are all heartless, lying bastards. I hear you, Doc. And thanks. 
I'll be in touch. I met Camden. He was very excited to see Zera's samples. He says if he can get the rest of Zera's data, there might actually be hope of finding a cure. Listen, Crane, I gotta reiterate. You better watch your back, your front, and both sides with those GRE bastards. They'll screw you if they get the chance. I know, Doc. I'll be careful. I just need to figure out where things stand. This looks pretty comfortable.
Hey, Troy, I give the samples to Dr. Camden. Now I'm gonna go have a little talk with the GRE. And what are you going to tell them? Everything. I'll meet you later, Troy. This is Crane, do you copy? Kyle Crane, you can hear me, can you not? Rise. Where are you? Exactly where I should be, atop my own tower. Of course, mine is not quite complete, but... It still stands as a monument to chaos, to entropy, to what it means to be ruled only by oneself. I'll kill you for what you did to Jade. For everything, I'll fucking kill you! I hope that would be your attitude. You see, we are at war, you and I. A war of opposing philosophies. A war to see whose vision of the world proves true. Come, Crane. Come and challenge me. What is it you Americans are so fond of saying? I dare you. You know what? Forget it. There is no war. There's only your fucked up outlook. Go to hell. Oh, no, 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 no. I won't be going to hell. I will be leaving Arando, you see. I have made a deal with our GRE brothers, using your very own communicator, no less. They know I have all of Dr. Zera's research data. They call it the keys to the kingdom. Very shortly, a helicopter will come and take me away. Imagine the damage I shall be able to do outside the confines of these walls. Of course, if you think you can stop me. You crazy son of a bitch! That is what I had hoped to hear. Come and find me, Crane. Let us finish what we began. Rice made a deal with the GRE. Now he's about to escape from Haran with the rest of Zara's research. I can't let that happen, and Rice knows it.
Rice made a deal with the GRE. Now he's about to escape from Haran with the rest. Holy shit! Rice made a deal with the GRE. Now he's about to escape. What the hell? I knew you could not resist, Craig. Oh, would you just shut up? You're the last thing I want to hear. What? Hear me? What a brilliant idea. <sighs> <laughs> Much better. It is fitting that an orchestra plays when kings clash. of my will.
Quite an entrance. Perhaps you are a king. A king of mud. Dear Crane, accept an offering to the king. <laughs> You cannot kill me. You cannot defeat me. You cannot even reach me. God damn it. God, what the fuck is going on? This is what we get for trying to make a living. Rice betrayed us all. Yeah, I'm on my way up there, Kareem. I'm gonna kill that motherfucker with my bare hands. Not this way. We've laid the mines on the two floors above us. Go through the second block as high as you can. And you can come back. you better when you didn't talk so damn much. But I consider it a matter of, let us call it, leveling the playing field. That is a term you can understand, yes?
to consume with emotion. Burning with the need for revenge. Eaten alive by hatred. Such feelings make you weak. So, face to face again. I guess that means I don't need this anymore. With or without it, Suleiman, you're dead. Come now, Crane. Do not pretend you don't care. How many lives depend on this disc? Hundreds? Thousands? Perhaps billions. <clears throat> about one thing, Crane. Suleiman, he's dead. He died with his brother in the city. You don't even belong here, Crane. You don't know what suffering is. You want me to make my own rules? Rule number one, you're gonna spend the rest of your goddamn life in fucking agony. Do not leave me like this, Kren. Prove you are a man. Just take your vengeance. Will you just shut the fuck up? Here. 
Get the rest of the research and come with us. Now, I can think of a lot of reasons to tell you to go fuck yourself, but why don't we just pretend for a minute that you don't think I'm stupid? You need the cure. It's here, in the city, somewhere. And as long as it is, you won't try to pull any ministry-style bullshit. Green, why do you even give a fuck what happens to these people? You don't belong here. This is just a job for you. No, not anymore, it's not. I'll be in touch when I've decided what to do next. Crane? Hello, Crane, can you hear me? It's Camden. Yeah, Doc, I hear you. What's going on? The analysis just finished on the tissue samples. The results are... Well, I don't think the word phenomenal is too strong. Crane, if you can recover Zara's data, I'm certain a cure is within reach. All right. Hey, we'll talk about it next time I see you. This is Ayo speaking. Get to the nearest safe house and wait until dawn. Good night, and good luck.